Hey, today we're creating a template in Lightburn to increase productivity while engraving multiple of the same thing. Uh, I'm using four inch slate coasters as uh, my item, but this can be used for anything. So you want to you want to learn how to do this, stay tuned. All right, just with uh, like with any other project, we need our base piece that we're going to be cutting out of. So we'll make a rectangle here. And this rectangle is my stock that I'm going to be cutting out of. Um, it's uh, 27 by 19. So I'm going to put those dimensions in there. I'm going to get that piece centered on my work table. And mark it blue, uh, which you can see has no output, so Lightburn is not going to cut this or anything. Make a circle, and uh, when you are pulling out a circle, if you hold down the shift, it makes a perfect circle. You can see without the shift, it uh, does, <laughs> does crazy things, ovals and stuff. But lock it, and uh, the size holes that I want are uh, four inches, because I'm working with four inch slate coasters and turn that black uh, so that it cuts out. Uh, that's gonna be my, my cut color. Move that over to the corner and I'm gonna create a finger hole uh, so that I can easily put in and pull out the coasters. Um, just make this some arbitrary uh, number you know whatever is going to work for you for me an inch is just fine it's just enough to get my finger in there put it in the corner uh, select both and then I want to cut out the inside which is the one that I just uh, put there so that's one shape now and I uh, need to make an array because I want to be able to cut out or engrave multiple of uh, these coasters at the same time so uh, you can change the direction that these go by reversing the direction there. Um, I can fit six across, and then I also want uh, the full sheet filled out. Again, I have to reverse the direction there. And uh, this spacing looks a little too close uh, for comfort there, so uh, increase the spacing a little bit. I, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, just whatever you think might work uh, in your particular situation. And that's it. Uh, we're ready to cut our array out. Um, as easy as that, you want to make sure that your uh, settings are correct for cutting out, but uh, make sure the air assist is on and you're good to go. cut two of these templates out and glued them together so that I had a thicker template. Uh, depending on what you're cutting out or what you are making this for, uh, you might only need one, maybe you need three, I don't know, but just know that that's an option. Hey, before we go any further, um, these coasters I got off of Amazon. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below uh, where I got these. I, I like the way they're packaged. I've used and sold them before, so I, they're, they're good quality. I stand by them. Um, but you can get these uh, four inch round slate coasters from a bunch of different places, so don't feel obligated to get these. I just like these. Um, also, Amazon Business, uh, you could typically find like a business account. You could typically find stuff for cheaper than you can on a regular Amazon account. So. I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. Um, I've, I've saved a bunch of money just buying random stuff like boxes for shipping uh, cups and stuff like that for cheaper than what it is on regular Amazon. I, no obligation again, but you know if you wanna check it out, check it out. I'll leave a, a description down below for that as well. Um, 
as well as there's a bunch of other stuff that I use on the regular down there. So anyway, thank you and let's, uh, let's get back to this video. Now that we have our template all set up, we wanna make sure that we name it appropriately. If you don't have a good file management system for your projects, uh, think about it, look into it, it's really important. Uh, but we have, if, if we don't change the color of this template, it's gonna cut every time. So uh, I'm changing mine to blue so that it has no output. And that way I can utilize this template for creating different designs. And you know, you can do text uh, on, well, just on these coasters, you can just do text on them. Um, you could do designs and graphics. Uh, make sure that you either A, buy the graphics or own them prior to cutting them out. You don't want to be stealing people's stuff. And set this up on the fence that we have. If you have not seen that video, I will leave a uh, card for that. But this is just uh, you know showing you that you can cut out multiple items in this template and they come out perfect every time because you set the template up for whatever you're doing. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, subscribe, like, uh, you know, do all the things. I, I really appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next one.